let's implement this public field in our client. First of all, let's bring some all to do's and then add our notifier. So let's first of all try it here. Let's define our query here. Let's call it get old public to do's. We'll have a, var a variable called oldest to do ID of type integer. Now what we will check, we will check first of all if is public is true. Also, we will check our ID to be lower than our oldest to do ID. Also, we want to limit to seven rows and we want to order by create a date. So what we will present, we will present an ID, title, create a date, is public, and a username. So we get all public data, all seven rows, but we want to add, to load additional rows. So what do we do? Let's paste our oldest to-do ID as 583 and load them. And we'll get the older. So now let's get into our UI and add a subscription that we already defined in a previous section. So we need to work in to-do public list. And let's import JQL from GraphQL tag. Our notify new public to do to do's will be the one we defined in the previous section. And we also have the get old public to do's. Let's paste it here. Now we need to get the old public to do's. So this is the one we just, just wrote. Okay, so far everything is good. So what, what do I need to do if, uh, first is on mounted, I want to query my data. I will call Apollo query. And inside, I will pass the actual query for getting old public to this that I just created. Now, this one will be without any variables. And because the, the variable is not mandatory, then I will get just the latest public to this, which is fine. That's, that's what I want. Now, whenever this is finished, I get the data, right? Now let's structure data from what we get. And inside, we want to start our notif notifier subscription. We'll subscribe. And subscription query will be notify new public to those. Now this one have a subscribe method inside. I will also destructure the data whenever we have the result. Basically, um, I check the to do's length, meaning if we have to do's at all, if we, we re receive them, we check that, then we check if the first to do ID is not the first to do that we already have, we 
let's say that equal this here. Then our new to do's count will be count plus data to do's length. And whenever we have an error, we can simply console log this error. Now what else we need to do, we need to update our to-dos to be from data to-dos. Let's see that it's working. Let's remove these to-dos. Now let's check if it's running. And it seems that we have an error with property name not defined. That's because we need also to bring our username for public to do's. And right now we see public to do's are working and we see our counter is updating. So what else we need to do? We need to go to our new to do's count and set it as zero. Let's reload that. And if I is testing, I have new task has arrived. Click on it, nothing happens. So right now we need to implement this functionality. So for that, we have load more clicked. But we also have load older tasks clicked. So let's implement both of them. First of all, let's implement load older tasks. Whenever we click on it, this method will be executed. So what we, uh, we want to do here is call this dollar Apollo query and query again our get old public to this. But this time we have variables passed and our variable will be oldest to do ID and we'll check the to do length And if we have to do this, then our latest to do will be length mon minus one. And we need to grab an ID. So basically we're loading all the all to do's from uh, last uh, loaded ID and, uh, and older. So otherwise we just don't pass any variable. So now whenever this will be executed and we get the data from it, we need to check if we have any older to this. If we have those, then we'll, we'll have some kind of merged merge to do's uh, object uh, array where we will concat our to do's to to do's the or to do's that we received to to do's that we already have then we'll just set our to do's as merge to do's otherwise we will set all the to do's available as false. Let's check that. Let's old older and older and older. And you can see this is a bunch of various users playing around with older tasks. With, uh, with public to this. Now, the reason we don't see online user here is because we have 30 seconds interval for updating. So right now, the only thing is left to add to our app 
is add new public to this. And we already have this notifier. So we, we actually need to implement load more clicked function. So first of all, whenever we click that, let's set our new to do's count as zero. Then we'll do this Apollo, this dollar Apollo query, and we'll query our new public to do's. It's a new um, query that we haven't created yet. Let's actually create that in graphical. The query will be get new public to do's. And we have latest to do visible ID as an integer. Now inside we will simply query query to do and we'll provide it with where, where close. First of all, we'll just add is public equal to true, similar that we had previously. And we'll also have our ID greater than this time to latest to do visible ID. As you can see, it's pretty much the same idea as uh, load older to do's. Now, in addition to that, I want also to order by create a tad in descending manner. Now, I, I want to show ID title create a tad is public and a username. Let's just copy that and create our function here. We called it get new public to this. Get new public to this, JQL. And then I just copy paste my query here. So back to our load new to do's function, load more clicked function, we query get new public to do's, and we also need to pass variables, right? So our variables will be latest to do visible ID, and this will be equal to do if we have to do's, then it will be the first to do's in the list because they are all or already. Otherwise, it will be just null. So if we check that, we have a new task arrived. We click on that, nothing happened because we need to provide, um, because we need to do something with the, with the data. So the data that we get, we need to check again if our to-dos exist at all. And if they are, we'll create the same merge to-dos as we did with the all to-dos. So we can cut. Let's check if it's working. If we add a new public to do, new task has arrived. If I click on it, new to do is loaded, load older tasks working. I see online users. I can add new private to do, can delete that. Clear completed. So our app is ready. And thanks for watching this course.